Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Lisa, and I'm here to share the latest word given to Julie Wedby. The title is, A Change of Course is Now Upon You. And this word was posted October 7th, 2023. My child, my bride, and my jewel, come to me, my little one, and rest. My peace I give to you, not as this world gives, but a peace that transcends all that you are experiencing here. You have many, many questions, all of you that walk with me, as it appears to you that I have not acted in the manner or according to the timeline you have hoped for. I remind you, my children, you reside in a very finite, limited, and low frequency and many things cannot be understood in great clarity just yet. As you are well aware, there is a dense and obscure veil that prevents most souls from awakening to the purpose I have ordained for them that has been placed in your realm by the enemy of your souls. Spiritual blindness has pervaded the lands, and gross darkness now covers the earth, but my glory will be seen in you. Is this not what my word teaches would occur in the last days of your journey here? It must be so, as all that has been spoken must be fulfilled. As you see the darkness becoming more and more oppressive in those all around you that do not journey with me, Pray fervently for their conviction and repentance, but also rejoice in that your time has come to be raised on this last day from the depths of the darkness and into my glorious light. This last day is here, and for those who seek me with all they have, to those who have overcome, you know the appointed time has come. I do not operate on a linear timeline, as I am outside of time. Time here is given to you to know where you have been and where you are going, but not as you perceive. It is about where you are on your journey of intimacy with me, where you have been in the past and what you have learned spiritually, where you are going in your maturity and the level of understanding and revelation that you aspire to, rather than points on a timeline where events happen. Time is to be used as a tool, but not strictly relied upon as a measure of my action. As you have a past and present state here in this realm, I only have this moment which is now. All that was ever created happened in the moment of now. I know this is a difficult concept for many, but if you ask to see this perspective, as I have shown some already, it is all taking place now in the spirit. It is only the natural realm here under low frequency that the appearance of events and circumstances must follow a linear path in a timeline. What I'm explaining to you is that you are waiting for the physical manifestation in your bodies and in this realm of a glorification or transformation that has already occurred. All has been fulfilled. But the manifestation of all to be fulfilled here plays out in a linear fashion from your perspective. That does not change who I am or what I do. It only changes your perspective while you reside in this realm. This is why over the years I have taught you to always pray to be given my kingdom perspective in all matters. If you gain this, you will then have my peace. Continue to pray that the transformation of your bodies, my sanctuaries here in this realm, 
comes to its completion. As I have told you, it is an ongoing process. Allow me to raise your frequency yet even higher, forward and upward, as I continue to realign your cells to my higher vibration and frequency, allowing the manifestation of the oneness that we are to become your reality more and more here, until I ultimately bring you back into full union with me, which I promise you is not delayed in any way. I hear your cries and pleas to be activated. I assure you, and it must be according to the perfect design I have in place, in order that the largest number of souls should not perish. Some of you, in your eagerness to move forward with your assignments, are moving ahead of me. Be very careful and pray for great discernment in taking any steps forward without my full consent at this time. I speak this as you may put yourself in great danger, and even those around you, if you act on your own accord and do not wait for my timing while here. Others have been given instructions to move in one direction or another, and yet have either stalled or gone back to what they have known formerly, and this, too, is equally as dangerous in the spirit. You must have the discernment to know when to move forward and when to wait on me. If you struggle in this area, stop everything and come to me in stillness and deep prayer until I confirm your steps and you have peace. I operate in perfect order and peace, never disorder, confusion, or chaos. My fruit will be evident when you follow my instructions. I will provide for all needed, and there will be a flow that you will not have when you operate from self-desires. My beloved ones, my remnant, I have revealed your names to our Father. I have given you everything the Father has given me, as I am him, and he is me. His words are my words, and you who are fully surrendered and obedient have received them. I stand before our Father on your behalf, as your advocate. I am no longer in the world, in the flesh, as you too will so very soon have your flesh glorified. As I came back into my glorified state, you are about to do the same. I give you the gift of my joy, although you are hated because of me and my word. As I was not of this world, neither are you who are mine of this world. Until the appointed time which is upon you, you will be kept from the wicked one, and I will continue to sanctify you in all truth. Yes, you will continue to come under attack until that time when you will suddenly transform, as Satan knows the urgency of the hour. As I've spoken in previous words to you, those of my remnant have completed the training necessary to implement the correct response now to all I allow in your lives. Respond as I would. Speak as I would. Love as I would, no matter what comes your way. In this, you will move from glory to glory, and more and more of me will manifest through you to all in your path. Your faith will be increased, and I will strengthen you through it all. A change of course is now upon you. Rejoice, my children. Rejoice, Yahushua. And that is the end of this message. I pray you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you.
and I will see you either next video or in the air. Bye-bye.